Is that Bumbo? That's Bumbo. Devil rooms contain more things, but all hearts are replaced, so it's no hearts. Well, there goes our win streak. Welcome back, everyone, to the BD1P Binding of Isaac modded series. Today is going to be a Tainted Arachno run for win number three in episode number 290, just 10 away from the big 30 0. Anyways, your question for today is going to be put your answer in the comments down below. Which musical artist, TV show, video game, or movie franchise would you kill to have another album or installment from? Without further ado, let's get started. Well, there goes our win streak. Let's get started for real this time. No game crash? Nothing too bad happening to us here? Hey, we're good to go. Your seed, by the way, is going to be 17PQXXVG. So this character got a pretty big change, if I do recall recent... How, perspective, excuse me? Uh, if I do recall recently, I believe now... Hold on. I, I gotta bait this. Get the frick out of here, you trash spider. Get out of here. Um, The character got a pretty big change. Celestial Crown gives four star orbitals. Tears that pass through a star gain a random tier effect. That sounds insanely fun. Hold on. That's so cool! Oh my god. Uh, anyways, so when this character first came out, uh, they were pretty much just regular uh, Arachna, but your spider like sacks had a timer on them. That was like the only big difference. Now, uh, whether it be because of my awesome suggestion or just like, you know, the mod creator wanted to change the character up, they now have a, uh, a different style of shooting, that being... Hold on, get that spider out there, beautiful. That being the, the kind of like weaker quad shot thing to prioritize using your spiders more than just playing a base game character, right? Because what what and what this character was at first to me was just like, it's a base game character, but you also get the bonus of having spiders occasionally, which was still fun, but it definitely could have used, I, I think, a little bit of work. And we're finally at the point where I would say this character is is fantastic. I have a really good time uh, trying to min-max. I'm bad at the game. Uh, my spider count for future rooms. This looks like hell. This first floor has been so brutal to me, man. Th those early spiders, the perspective on those guys are ridiculous. But uh, we should be getting a little bit better here. Once you get the spider ball rolling, nothing can stop this trans. Like, God, you shoot fire. You shoot fire? It's like Heisenberg. Nothing stops this train. Hold on. I gotta be, like, careful here because these guys shoot fire, apparently, which is, is not my favorite mechanic in the world. The fire is very finicky and... We're gonna die, dude. Maybe it was, like, an over-nerf. I, I missed my really powerful character. Give them back, please. Okay, let's go fight our boss. Now we have Child Soul killing enemies. A chance to give you a baby for the room. Yo, okay, you know, we, we can try that for sure. Uh, we are not looking super hot right now. I'll lay it on you flat. We could maybe go buy a bomb from our shop and get that Tinty Rock opened up. Oh, we can actually buy a bomb and potentially steal Champion's Belt as the time goes on here. But I'm looking for a small rock or a big boulder. The HP is fine. I'm actually going to go and buy the Champion's Belt, like, literally right now. But for my answer for today's question of the day, it, it's a bit of a funky one. And I asked the question for a very certain reason. Uh, that reason being that one of my all-time favorite bands of all time, of all time, uh, recently dropped a song with their last song being released in 2014. And there was no marketing, there was no wind-up, it just fucking came out. Which, like, it doesn't even feel real to me. Because this was a band that middle school and high school me was obsessed with. And they had a hiatus, I guess, I guess, we thought it was like, a, you know, the band was done, but it was a hiatus apparently. And they have came back and they have uh, finally released a brand new song called The State of Decay uh, by My Chemical Romance. And honestly, man, like, I, I, it hasn't even, like, really set into me yet. Because this was a band, again, that, like, I still, every single day, play their music. Like, MCR, to me, is one of those, like, long-staying, really influential and, and genre-defining bands that are, are once in a generation. Like, you're not going to be seeing another kind of MCR band in a long ass time and they're finally back it seems with what might be a new album coming out hold on death hanged man wheel of fortune uh hanged man and what's this one and death very weird selection of cars here uh we could probably 
Oh, until you take damage. We're going to pop this for easy flight. And then... Why don't we... Pop this right now. And we're going to go to our cursed room for half priced. And we're going to... Oh, fuck me. Um, we're not going to fuck me. I lied about that. The Covenant. Devil rooms contain more things, but all hearts are replaced. So it's no hearts. We can't afford that. We cannot afford to have the, the no hearts thing right now. I'm sorry, but it's just, it's too hard for me. But when I say that MCR dropping a song is like one of the most unheard of things I would have thought would happen in my lifetime again, I truly mean that. Like the band was like done. Like they had declared they were, you know, broken up. There were no more albums coming out. They did do an anniversary for one of their most popular albums, The Black Parade, back in, I believe it was like 2016. And then they had a couple of like tours they did that were mostly just for like, you know, big festivals, like When We Were Young Fest and, and things like that. Blood Splosion. Enemies have a half chance to explode and create a pool of red creep upon death. The explosion deals your current damage. Dude, say no more. Take it. We got a death card and a lovers. I'm not too concerned about either of those. But, like, it, it just feels surreal to me. I mean, like, because I, I got into the band when they were already had broken up. Because I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm 19, right? I'm not that old. When I found the band when I was, like, 12, they had already dropped their last thing. And it was over and done. It, it, it would be like if Elvis Presley dropped a new song. Like, it, it just, it feels impossible and it feels so impossible yet the song is out and it it it, it isn't bad like i i my, my worst fear was the band coming back and they're like new music being kind of not that great but the song is like oh god please no the song is like very good like i i actually enjoy it a lot um now is it my favorite mcr song no uh not really even close but it's Probably just because I don't really have nostalgia with the song yet. Like, with every other song from Black Parade, Three Cheers, uh, everything else I've ever released, there was a sort of, like, nostalgia I had for the album. Because it reminds me of a, a much, like, simpler time when I was 12, and my biggest worry in the world was, like, am I gonna ask out my crush tomorrow? Like, that, that was my biggest fear ever. And that kind of nostalgia, nice, nice little anime face up there, very, very cute of you. Uh, that kind of nostalgia definitely dictates a lot of my enjoyment of current media. I, I think that nostalgia is a very powerful tool, right? Like, nostalgia is, I think, the number one way to market something. And, and there's examples of that everywhere in the world. For example, like, take LEGO Star Wars... Oh, you're... That's Bumbo. That's motherfucking... Bu I'm not touching that. Is that Bumbo? That's Bumbo. But that's, like, also Leo right there, I think? Like, hiding in this this chest? Okay, I mean, I'm scared to stomp on pretty much any much. There's another thing? Cool shades. Uh, I don't know what this room is. I can't really see what's going on right now. Test fate. Tempt fate. I tempted it. Am I gonna do it again? Ah, okay, that's, that's it. That's my, my two little passes there. Uh, cool shades. Oh, this is the item that, like, gives you damage for successfully using it in a room, but it's like really hard to use. I don't really care to try it out right now. I'm kind of satisfied with having just a bunch of spiders and that kind of being it. Sadly, it seems that, well, that fuck, that fucking sucks. Flies cannot turn into spiders, it seems, which kind of is, is bad for us, but you know, life goes on for sure. But as I was saying, nostalgia is birthright. Heal your friends plus radius up, and what's this? Oh, I love grindstone. It gives you a damage when you walk against a wall in exchange for speed. What a very fun idea for an item there. Uh, is it last for the room? It's just the room. Okay, a very, very cool thing to see right now. But as I was saying a little bit earlier, uh, nostalgia is like the number one selling point of anything. I mean, th think of LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga. A game that is very heavily flawed and full of bugs and glitches and very uh, game-breaking um, experiences. Yet, everyone has such fond memories of that game because it's nostalgic. And a lot of fans were kind of peeved that the Skywalker Saga launched with tons of game-breaking bugs, but that's how every single LEGO game has launched. And if you were expecting a very immediately polished game, which you should be getting admittedly for paying for a product, but knowing TT games and their, their rough development cycles and their crunch time, 
it wasn't going to happen. And people were so blinded by that nostalgia for the complete saga that they forgot about how hellish TT Games development cycles are. And it, it shows, like, people will cite the complete saga as one of the greatest games ever made because it just holds so much power over every Star Wars fan, every LEGO game fan, every kid who had a console when they were like eight years old. The Complete Saga is the number one game they would cite. Ooh, we needed this a little bit, actually. I'll pop this pill. I'm no pussy. It's just more spiders. Wonderful. Uh, go here. What card is that? We don't need that. And let's go fuck up Bighorn, shall we? We just got pushed. He's dead. My man is gone. Angel deal already? You shouldn't have. What's the item? Godhead? Circle of protection, huh? I mean, it's... Oh, I broke you. I didn't mean to touch you. I, I apologize sincerely. Hold on. We're gonna get an easy key piece too here. Nobody can say shit to me. I'm the best gamer alive. Uh, but the complete saga is... I'm gonna say it. It's not a good game. Mom's earrings. All right, cool. Uh, it's... I love the game. It's an amazing game. But it is not a good game. Unique hazards spawns a few 8-bit worms and a few random worm trinkets. Morris worm. The fuck is an 8-bit worm, dude? <laughs> what what is it? What is an 8-bit worm? I'm not gonna question shit, dude. You know what? Have that bumbo. Take it and get rich, brother. Can I get some more stuff out of this chest, like an item, though? That would be kind of sick. Oh. No, oh, we got f we needed flight because we lost flight from the other card that we had. Uh, dude, so far the runs going amazing right now. But even moving away from just all oh, restock machine, um, just video games when it comes to nostalgia and nostalgia baiting, look at a franchise like Star Wars again. Just regular Star Wars. I mean, Star Wars today, it's shit. The Mandalorian was really really good. Everything else in the past like couple of years has been nostalgia bait and, quite frankly, really bad. I mean, the Book of Boba Fett, I had high hopes. I love the Mandalorian Creed and all of that kind of stuff. Fever, by the way. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, we have no tier rate right now, but that's okay. Like, Boba Fett was 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 a letdown. I'll say it. I mean, I, I wanted, to, I wanted my, to try my best to love the show. I couldn't bring myself to do it. It was very slow. It was very fan servicey by the end of it when it didn't need to be. I mean, you know, half the show isn't even about Boba. It's about Luke and Ahsoka and Mandalorian and Grogu and Cad Bane. And like, it's just, it's not a show about him. And it was just a vessel to use more fan service to make more Disney money. And it, it, it kind of hurts. I, I do love Star Wars a lot. But because they can use that that Luke and that Ahsoka as nostalgia bait for the Clone Wars fans and the the OT fans, I mean, they will. And Disney knows nostalgia is powerful. I mean, look at, like, literally every property they've made besides, you know, a lot of the musicals in the past couple of years. Dude, even, like, everything fucking Marvel and, and like, in DC now. I know, I know DC is, is WB, by the way, but still. Like, even all of that shit is ridiculously just nostalgia based like how many cameos how many old references can we fit into these movies like nobody wants to have a movie that's just a cameo fest or a reference fest we want original stories but everything has to you know tie into some big thing or has to reference an old thing for it to be marketable now and it even goes as far as nintendo like look at mario 3d all-stars it was not only just a nostalgia bait release but it was also a war like a limited time offer to make even more money off of it because nintendo knows they can put out whatever fucking product they want and as long as it is either a limited sell or nostalgic fuck dude they're gonna have a great time doing it and it kind of hurts all right it's boss fight time let's go fight the boss i want to get rid of like all of my spiders if possible we have so much lag in game right now but we just do like too much damage to get rid of all of our spiders at once i have to try to not shoot the next couple of rooms we do i think we should also just move on down and pop our stars card like right away we're not we're not in a crunch for anything specific right now we're gonna be okay in that regard but nostalgia is a very powerful and often misused tool and the only time I actually see and enjoy nostalgic things is when they aren't being rehashed for money or they just come out of the blue. Like, for example, for me, it's MCR. Like, I was not expecting that song at all. There's 
like they're not trying to you know ride the success of their last album or big you know name thing they're just putting out music to put out music and that is wonderful because the second you start marketing something as nostalgic you kind of lose the point because the original product wasn't successful for its nostalgia it was successful uh because it was a good product when you take that good product and you're like hey we're gonna repackage the same thing um and we're not gonna give any other you know stuff with it it's gonna be the same thing we all know but just hd you're not really giving anybody anything because what was going to happen there is like the the average fan is going to be like man that's cool i'm gonna buy it and play it once but whenever i want to play that game or hear that album or go to that movie again i'm just gonna watch the first version of it because that's the version that i was nostalgic towards in the first place it, it's a very fast fix a temporary fix to a a long and permanent problem brother we gotta find some more speed here very soon oh i wait this is one that spawns a bunch of these guys yeah uh we can we can we can fuck with this for a minute here why don't we i'm gonna give you stuff because i want a little bit more hp maybe even like a boss item for hey, it's hp again it's just okay are you still here in a ghost form you're gone now great uh we do have a lot of keys we could be using for our man right here I, I, you know what, dude? I, I trust you. you. You seem like a very trustworthy guy right now. And you're gonna pawn me for some more money. Hold on. Okay, well, we got a golden bomb, which actually, you know, I'm also not too upset over. I'm kind of looking for a card right now, though. Where can I find the card, Mansoor? Crimson Lock. That's fun, but we don't have, like, how do we have, okay. We have 0.88 damage with Curved Horn. If I drop Curve Torn, what's our damage at? 0.5. Yeah, okay. Cool as hell. I'm going to bomb you now. You have all my keys. Goodbye. Get out of here. Uh, I want to keep that card guy alive in case... Well, we can we can do this right now. Why don't you grab your Reverse Chariot card? And why don't you give your, your, your nerd the card? I'm going to bomb these two guys down here, by the way. Do you take floppy disks? <gasps> you do take floppy disks. He's upgrading. I don't need this card. I'm, I'm going for a good card or a good card-related item. And he drops us a blank card here, which is, is quite good. And I think we'll run blank card over the useless sunglasses, and we'll enjoy ourselves for a little bit here. And we also found our boss fight. We have more. I don't really care for the 8-bit worms. Uh, let's just go fight the boss. I know we're going kind of fast today, but here's the thing, is that our run is not very fast, and I want to just keep going. The longer we stay on one floor, the worse things are going to get. We just gotta hold the hope it'll get better. Oh my god, please no. Please no. I am, am a, I have 0.66 speed. I mean, like, come on, man. We have 0.6 speed. We have 0.5 tier rate. We have 0.5 damage. Hey, Bumbo. Hey, brother. What, what do you do in a situation like this? Oh, you buy the ice cube. Yeah, no. Damage up per kill, but chance to take triple damage and reset the buff. I, I in good faith... I, I really I could why didn't I I couldn't buy that? That's fucked up. Uh I cannot in good faith trust that item right now. I want to, it'd be funny, but my my brain tells me otherwise. I think you move on down again. We're we've somehow gotten below the cap for I think the cap for speed or the lowest cap is like point three. No, maybe it's point one. I don't know. If we've gone below the cap for speed, be a good card. It's the card. We need speed, like, really badly right now. I would love to have extra tier rate, too, but personally, dude, the biggest want is going to be speed. If we can move faster, we can avoid getting hit more, and that would be ideal. There's a card. Oh, that's just a floppy disk in that room. Okay. Uh, now, what's the ideal item right now? I'm going to say it. You're going to hate me for it. That's a Mimic Door, by the way. Uh, the perfect item for us right now, unironically would be soy milk because we already have the lowest amount of damage possible on a run so if we got soy milk it would just be a big tears up and that's it and if we have a big tears up with this kind of build i i would be astounded to be frank with you now the other we, we could use is is hopefully a better card i mean if we find an emperor card we have blank card emperor card of course we all know it it's a very powerful synergy uh, maybe like a reverse card, reverse moon would be nice, reverse world possibly, any of that kind of stuff. 
We just need so you bombed him into me, you motherfucker. We just need something else. I don't know if a dice room can give us what we need out of this run, but if it is like a, a reroll your entire build room. No, it's a it's a freaking like D twenty for the floor. I was gonna say, I, I wouldn't mind doing Good items in here. Good vibes only. God damn it. I was gonna say, I wouldn't mind uh, rolling my entire build in a situation like this. Now, am I gonna do this room? I mean, there's no reason to not do this room, right? Like, we need something else right now. And I don't know if it's gonna be... Now, what, what changed? Hold on. That's a heart now. That's just a bunch of bombs, alright? Yeah, it was not extremely good. Maybe the curse room is the right play to make right now. If we walk over there with our 0.71 speed at the at our cap. This run stats, they look really bad. The run is not like that terrible though in my eyes. Okay, well, it was completely useless. Alright, shop, be good to me. Give me a Ooh. I mean, honestly, I think that blank card is just too good to pass up, but the Plopia could find its use if this floor uh has some funky stuff going on. Yo, okay. We kind of have a thing going right now. It's a 12 charge, though, and it's our last floor for a shop, so I, I just lied to you guys. I apologize. How did... All right. Yeah, I, I can't see my body, so that must be my hitbox down there. That's uh, that's cool. That's on me, though. Like that, That's entirely my fault. No joke. So I, I should not complain. Weird item room placement. God, it's... It's, uh... it's HP, though, right? Yeah, okay. I mean, can't really just complain about that. If I can get one more penny, I can go and buy the soul heart from the shop. Uh, and we can probably get that from just, like, taking you to the fucking bone zone. Yes, okay. Pop it again. You could buy Diplopia now, though, too, is the thing. Nah, buy, buy the, the heart. Um, you could have appropriate then gotten the two hearts there. I actually realize that now. But, uh, anyways, let's go fight our boss and ignore my terrible mistake there. And a Tinted Rock is here. Okay, it's Red Mom. Uh, as my speed value will show you, it's not a good thing to have Red Mom right now. But she died in three hits. This run is, I'm saying it, the run is strong. It's just like, it, it's going in a lot of weird directions right now. Okay, this crawl space could be game changing. Well, you know, don't knock it yet. You gotta get a key beggar down here. This could be huge. I gave this man just about every single key we have. We do have golden keys on this floor to open up these golden chests here. And it looks like it was not... Okay. Weird. Speed down. That That is like the worst possible outcome of this room um yeah now we're at point one uh speed by the way now we got a tears up which is pretty huge but uh point one three speed is by and large atrocious now the champion bug i mean you might as well you got champion bug enemies there sure uh you might as well just keep going on here Luckily, we have the good trip fast travel mod installed for situations like the point one speed. Oh, no, it's back to point six. Oh, when you grind against the wall, it goes down the point. Whatever. That makes more sense to me. All right, let's uh, go fight our boss then. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is going to be a nightmare, dude. I, I can't, like, dodge. Is the, I, I can't hide over rocks. I have Leo. I can't dodge. I'm way too slow for that. I mean, this, this is, like, it's terrifying. Now, the run's going again. Oh, d d damage? We've passed the, the one damage barrier, and we find Brimstone! Is that going to be good for us? I think it's going to be terrible. But guess what? I like Brimstone a lot, so I'm going to take it. And what's it going to do with Fever? The charge time is a bit much. I might have just fucked this here. I mean, it's like having Quad Brim. I'm not going to say it's good yet. We haven't had to like, try it out in an actual room, but maybe. So, it seems to be pretty fucking terrible, actually. Like, I, I thought Fever would work with it, but Fever does not actually work with this item. So, we essentially have a huge tears and damage down uh, for nothing, because Fever has no synergies in this game. 
I mean, like, the least you can do as a mod maker is give your item a fun brimstone synergy, <laughs> it feels like, but, I mean, we're gonna be okay. I think we're still gonna win the run. As dire as this looks, Arachna, even tainted Arachna, is insanely overpowered, it feels like. So, I, I have faith in this run. I, I really, really do. It's, well, hold on. He's still chasing me? That was tight. That was real tight. But I still have a lot of faith in this mod, or uh, in this run, I should say. It slowed, bitch. How many spiders was that? A decent amount, okay. But yeah, we'll see how it goes, I guess. We've managed to get ourselves an army of what seems like around, like, maybe 600 spiders, but we have a crawl so we can enter right here. Maybe if we're fast enough. Congratulations. Wow. It's not even worth my fucking time. I'm not even gonna go down there. I, I The amount of time it takes my character to walk 20 feet, I could probably eat dinner and then make dinner for tomorrow in that time. It's kind of absurd. There should be a, a, a better speed cap, like when, when you don't have binge eater. There should be a non-binge eater speed cap. It should be like the lowest you can go is like 0.6. Because th this is, oh, Bumbo Feast, kind of absurd. All right, it's boss fight time with like 30 hundred spiders out here. Get the eyes down first. Do a little bit of a, of a standing right here. Okay, you can't even kill one eye with your shot. And it takes six years to charge up. You can do better than this. I believe in you. And no, I'm not going to go fight Hush on this run. You can you can fuck right off with that idea. Uh, give me an angel deal. It's not possible, but okay. Well, luckily for us, we're not going down to go fight uh, Satan. We're going up to go fight Isaac, which might even be a little bit harder. Who put a bunch of d dusts in a room like this? I mean, come on. Soul of Andromeda, save me. Yo, you actually could save me so hard right here. Do not let me down. I have total faith. It's not terrible. Hold on. You have let me down. Uh, bomb the fires. And open that up, I guess, too. Just for your own questions. Uh, now bomb these. Please, dude. I need HP. Oh, that was orgasmic. Uh, take this. We're going to head out of the room. I don't want like, the game to crash. So please don't crash here. Okay, it's still not very good. Uh, we can use this, however. That was a weird golden bomb. Every four rooms to get a new special arcade every floor. And that special, special arcade... Oh, bomb rock, watch out. Um, could have a fortune machine for soul hearts. It could have a... Oh. That's even better, though. Uh, it it could have... Well, we'll pop it again while we have it right here. Um... No, it's the, oh, it's, it's the same arcade, but respawn. It could have had, like, a, a, a claw machine for extra items, anything like that. I mean, to be frank with you, dude, like, it, anything helps right now. It doesn't gotta be good. Okay, where's the boss fight? Oh, it's all the way over there. Uh, well, here's the good thing. You can come down here, you can open this up, and you can get a free curse room. That, that's the positive thing here, right? You're not, you're not, well... I guess you are taking my blank card away. We, we don't need it anymore. We have a free sun card next floor anyways. Three random runes, huh? Hagalaz. Hair throw. Awaz. These... Okay. The pair throw rune is being dropped in here. Not this guy. Not this guy, dude. Drop. Drop. You... There's... You can't dodge that. There's no way you can dodge that thing. It comes down on top of your ass. Hold on. Now I'm pissed off. Where, where's my, where's my, uh, pair throw? Blood Puppy, you are the worst item in the game. Okay, it's, it's damage, black hearts, and maybe an extra item here. Dark Prince's crown as a soul heart character. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm, I'm not mad. I promise you. I'm actually very happy to see that item. you that makes me a little bit mad. We've had, like, two money-based awful crawl spaces in the last six times make your way over there all right uh it is time for our boss fight here and we have a, a good legion of spiders going on plus one bumbo leading them all you just gotta go for it dude you really can't like waste any more time oh this run somehow one cycled isaac the 0 0.2 speed 0 0.2 tier rate and the one damage run just one cycled uh the binding of isaac himself well i don't know what any of these items are that's book of cosmos silver bar 
Well, we got something going on. I know what Predator Heart is. Yep, and that is... Oh, I know what this is. I played Isaac before. Sun card, go. All right. Very... <laughs> very, very long floor. Um... Okay, these hanging spiders are too much for my brain to handle. Like, they come down. I, I don't have the speed to escape those guys, so I'm not going to fuck with them. Now, here's the thing. Please, Emperor. So close to greatness. Uh, here's the thing. We're going to win this run. I guess the real question is, how do you want to win this run? You want to be a little baby bitch and win the run by just cowering in a hole and shooting brimstone? No, I want to win the run as a man. How am I going to do that? Uh, still cowering, but a little bit less. That's a good card uh, for the, the boss fight. But we have to trek what feels like miles and miles down this floor just to get even a whiff of blue babies. Well, that was like undodgeable in my case, I feel like. I can't see what's going on down there. Please get away from me, sir. Uh, that felt a little bit undodgeable. I'm not fucking with that. I'm, I'm leaving the game. I'm going to log back in. I'm not fucking with that, that troll bomb down there. That, that, this is unfair. That, that is ridiculously unfair. You're alive? Dude! We need more spiders, like Pronto, dude. Dude, you're a king! Play every game like a king. I believe Meek Mill said that one. Hold on. The bounce? Okay. We have one little spider thing happening. No, my Bumbo is reset. Why? Bumbo? I was counting on you. Oh, jeez, Rick. How are we going to do this shit, man? It's not going to be impossible, but it, it feels like that. I'm looking at my stats right now and thinking, how can a run this bad feel this powerful? And I, I don't have an answer for you. It's funny, right? Because, like... We all love the character Zack. Uh, Zack runs tend to usually be pretty bad. Like, they're not fun runs to play. But we usually have better stats than this. We actually have always had better stats than this is Zack. Yeah, this, this run, to me, is has been more fun. That's going to be so much for us. Okay, now we win the run, no questions asked. We're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. The streak is, is gone because we had a, a crash, but... We're still here. You know what's funny, too? Is that the streak has been bad recently, but our last, like, three streak losses have been the game crashing. We would have been at double digits by now had the, the streak not crashed uh, every, like, third run or so. So the streak number is not really, like, a, a good tell of what's happening on the... Oh, my God. Well, I moved... The bomb, like, followed me up there. I don't know what caused that. Probably my, my bad play, to be honest with you. Um... Our streak should be a lot higher than it is, so I'm not bad. I'm not washed, I promise you. I'm actually still very skillful. Uh, might even be the, the most skillful uh, Arachna player with Brimstone on the planet. Right now, in this current moment, at least for sure. Please, HP. It is HP. I think in my head, if I would have just saw a black heart on the ground, I would have been more excited than seeing Missing Page 2, but like, it, it is still... HP. My brain works in mysterious ways. Oh, the freaking silver bar took the bomb up with us. Alright, well. Remind me to never take silver bar ever again. It's, it's just worse, like 120 volt, it seems. Okay, you become a sack for me. Oh, this is a big boy, right? You know what? Perfect time for a sun card. Get out of here. Alright, we get two sacks. One sack. You're going to be fine. You are going to be fine. Got poison off there early. Veteran was really good there. Okay. I had no chance. That shot was coming at me, dude. I have no bombs left either right now. Polaroid carries this fight right now. Like we, Polaroid is the number one reason we are still here. Get, get that protection circle damage off. Bumble, there's a thing for you. Did not get the slow down there, unfortunately. You want to get your shot going through one of those orbs. Because it'll multiply the brimstone beams quite a lot. 
And we got charge time is this bad. Everything helps. I had no chance to dodge that once again. However, you're dead. You're alive somehow. Get over here. You're living through all of that. The Sprindle is in the basement. Lord, we unlocked the Sprindle. I mean, your good graces. Anyways, we won that that terrible run. If you enjoy my run and my commentary, a like and a comment goes a long way for a small channel like mine. In the meantime, though, guys, I have been BD1P. Peace out and goodbye.